what are the driving factors of, of these growth stories that is it like just having great knowledge of how digital platforms work? Is it having a great product? It, like what's the, I'm sure so what we learned, come yeah, it's, great. it's a great question. One of the things that we learned was that on in running, you know, paid media for some of the fastest growing e-com brands in the world is that we were able to identify some common attributes amongst the products that were really successful using those channels. And so we have some very definitive philosophical beliefs about the kinds of products that we want to work with. And at glance, they appear to be sort of disjointed, right? Like in that they're not connected at all, but there's a few things that they all share in common. Um, so our, our three brands are, like you said, Slick Products, which is a off-road wash kit, FC Goods, which are repurposed baseball gloves into leather accessories, and then a women's skincare line called Bamboo Word. So all very odd and disparate. But a couple of the commonalities is um, they all exist at larger than 70 points of gross margin. That's critical to our success. One of the things that we believe is critical to success. So they have high margin. Um, they either exist in one of two categories, high AOV, so like the wallets are a $300 AOV, or high repeat purchase rate. So you're either playing a game where you're trying to win on AOV or you're trying to win on LTV, and you have to be really clear which it is. Um, the other thing that is absolutely essential is that we believe that you can be the best tactical marketer in the world, but if you don't have a great product and story, it won't matter. So all three of these brands have authentic founder stories that we could not manufacture. So in the case of Slick Products, it was started by um, a dude who grew up in Hawaii riding with his dad, uh, riding dirt bikes on really red clay that they have in Hawaii. Um, and they used to wash their bikes with simple green, uh, but it would be bad for the lubricant of the motors. And so they came up with a better alternative wash together and used it on their bikes growing up. And that was the root foundation of how they created the product. There's both tactical constraints that we think about in terms of the businesses that works and also as marketers, things that we think really matter is the story. And so we look at it through those lenses.